Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to unbox the Apple TV 4K and get it set up with your TV. So the version that I've got here today is the 4K HDR with the 64 gigabytes of storage space. This was released in 2020 and this is the latest version of the Apple TV that you can buy at the time of recording. And today I'm going to do an unboxing now. So basically we're going to show you how to set this up and get it working with your television. So we're going to take off the cover first. So this is the plastic wrapping and this is going to reveal the device itself. It's lifting up that box. So in the package, you get the Apple TV itself. So this is the main device that we're gonna be using. And then we get the remote control, and then we have the power cable inside. So the first thing with the Apple TV is that the whole thing is wrapped by this plastic wrap, which we have to take off. So I'm just gonna take that off. So this reveals all of the ports that we need. So we can also remove the bottom one here and this adds a bit more grip to the bottom of the Apple TV. So make sure to take that off too. So we have three ports here. So the important ones are the power port, the HDMI port and the ethernet port. So what's kind of surprising given that Apple TV is our very premium product is the fact that we don't have an HDMI cable included. So you probably have an HDMI cable somewhere in your home, but if you don't have one, then please make sure to check out the link in the description. I'll leave a link to a compatible HDMI cable. If you want to get 4K HDR out of your Apple TV, you're gonna need a higher quality cable, which I'll leave a link to in the description as well. Next, we're gonna unwrap the remote control. It really just comes in a basic piece of plastic. It feels very solid, tactile. One of the cool things is that they put back the directional buttons and they still have a touchpad here. So this is a cool design. Lastly, we have the power cable. This is the British version of the power cable here. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. The only thing is that this has this uh, plastic backing on the back. It doesn't do really do anything. And this is gonna plug it into our Apple TV. So I'm just gonna get it all hooked up now. So this power cable is gonna slot into this power slot here. So just make sure to put that in like so. So that's the power cable. And then I'm gonna put the socket end into my power socket. So the next part is the HDMI cable. So it doesn't matter which end goes into where, but this one fits in like so. I'll just try and show you as clearly as possible. That slots in like so, and that's basically all we need. If you're close enough to the router, you can use an ethernet cable to plug straight into your router. So if you have a cable which looks like this, this is a standard ethernet cable, this is a Cat5. You can just slot it into your Apple TV like this. And as long as the other end is attached to your router, then you're gonna have internet connection for your Apple TV without using Wi-Fi. And to take it out, I'm just gonna pull out the cable like so. Today I'm gonna be setting up with Wi-Fi, so we're not gonna need this cable. So today we're gonna to be doing a very basic setup with this small TV. I couldn't fit my big TV on this desk on my recording setup. So I'm using this very small spare one here. And once we've got everything connected up, you can see a little white light here. That means the power's on. We're gonna connect up the other HDMI cable into the TV. So the HDMI port here looks like this. I'm gonna plug in my cable into the back here. And then that's plugged in now. So my HDMI port is on the back, on the left of my TV. Every TV is slightly different, so hopefully you'll be able to find yours quite easily. So next I'm gonna turn on my television and then I'm gonna change my source. So if you haven't changed source, what you need to do is to tell the TV to switch to HDMI mode. So I have a source button here, or you can do it on your remote control. I'm just gonna press source until we hit the HDMI section here. And then it's going to detect the Apple TV or whatever's connected to the HDMI source. So now I'm gonna be using my Apple TV remote control. So this is already paired to this Apple TV. So we're just gonna go through the basic setup so that we can get this working. So this is asking us to continue to the next part of the menu. It's asking us to press the menu button. So press that once and now we're gonna select language. So if you've not used one of these controls, you can use the up and down button to change the selection of the menu or you can use the touchpad. So you can kind of scroll down on this center part here. You can move up and down like this. Then we're gonna press the middle button to select a language. So we'll press this center part. When you hear that click, then it's pressed enter. So I'm gonna select my region, United Kingdom, and then press the center button, press continue. And then I'm going to select switch to match. And then we're gonna scroll up and press okay. So the next step is gonna allow you to set up the Apple TV with your iPhone. So my iPhone is right here and it's automatically detected that we're setting up an Apple TV. So this is pretty straightforward. All it will do is to detect your Wi-Fi settings and your Apple ID. I'm actually gonna do this manually just in case you don't own an iPhone or you don't have iCloud set up or you don't have an Apple ID set up or iCloud set up, then I'm going to do this manually so that I can show you how this works. If you use the iPhone to set it up, this will bypass some of the steps I'm about to do. Here I'm gonna scroll down and press set up manually and then I'm going 
going to select use Siri, that's very useful. I'm gonna press not now on this. Now I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi network. And then basically you can just type in your Wi-Fi password. It should be written on your router somewhere. So we're just going to enter my password now. So you select the letters and numbers of your password just by clicking left and right on here and then pressing the center button to select a letter or number. And then what you can do is you scroll down to the bottom to press continue. Once your password's set, we'll press continue there. So now we're doing the same deal. We're going to enter our Apple ID and password. So this is gonna be your email address associated with Apple and then the password associated with that. So I'm gonna type in my Apple ID now. So once we've entered the username and password, we'll just press the continue button here to continue. So this has pinged up a notification for my phone because I have two-factor authentication on. So I'm just gonna make sure that we enter the six-digit code. So I'm gonna open up my phone and then click allow. So I'm gonna click never require because I don't want this to keep popping up when I do something on the App Store. Here we're gonna press not now, I don't have a TV provider. So if you already have an Apple TV setup, we can use this one home screen for every Apple TV. I'm gonna turn this off. Here I'm just gonna call this one the games room and press okay. I'm gonna enable location services. We're gonna download automatically the new screensavers, don't send analytics to Apple, agree to the terms and conditions. So that's something you have to do. And now we are in the Apple TV interface, which is great. Now we can make full use of the Apple TV. So we can watch anything on Apple TV, look at our photographs, etc. So these are the kind of default applications that you get. You have Apple TV here, we've got iTunes Music, you've got your photographs, Apple Arcade. So these are kind of Apple services at the top here. The next part are gonna be the local services. So in the United Kingdom, we have iPlayer, ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5, UK Play, etc. So it's quite a limited number of applications. And so the very first thing you're probably gonna to wanna to do is to download something like the Netflix app, which is gonna be similar to the one you get on your iPhone or iPad. So what we're gonna do is to scroll up and select the app store here, I'm gonna press okay, and we'll press continue. And what I'm gonna do is define the Netflix app here. So I'm gonna do a search here. Netflix has turned up here, but I'll just teach you how to search in general. If you scroll down to the search bar and you get to the letter selection bar, what you can do is select the Siri button here. And if you hold this down, and if I say the word Netflix, so I'll just try this now, Netflix. This will automatically pick up the search term for my voice and I found it here as Netflix is there. So I'm just gonna go down and then left to select Netflix and then press okay. And then what we're interested in is this cloud icon with the arrow pointing down. This is actually highlighted already. I'm gonna press this button to download it. And now it says open. I can actually press this button here to go back to the main menu and we'll see that Netflix is in here now. So if I select Netflix, and now I press the sign in button here. I can go ahead and enter my Netflix email and password just like I did before. So now I'm gonna press back. I'm gonna download another application. Let's get Disney Plus. So for example, if I go to my search bar and then I hold this down and I say Disney Plus, then it's gonna search for Disney Plus and then I'm gonna download Disney Plus here. Same process, get the cloud icon, press the download button, press back again back again and then back and then you'll see Disney Plus loaded up here. If you want to change the order of any of the icons, let's say you want to put Netflix at the top, what you do is you highlight the Netflix app and then you hold down. And what that does is that it makes the icon jiggle and then what we can do is just move this icon up. So I'm just going to move this to the top and then that's put it at the very top here. So if you want to be able to access Netflix easily, you can just move it like that. If you want to do something like make a folder, so let's say for example, I want to put Disney Plus in a folder with Netflix, I've moved it up to here. If you kind of hover over the Netflix icon, it will try to make a folder. And if you press the back button now, it'll make the folder stop jiggling, then it's always going to be a folder. So you can go into that folder and then select that application. So anyway, this was a very basic setup guide for the Apple TV 4K. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.